everyone let us go ahead and continue with the discussion of the evolution of the indian economy to set the background that we did in the last lecture remember that we said that the indian economy was absolutely under poverty non planned structure marginal role of the government because we had just got our independence तो क्योंकि हमें इंडिपेंडेंस अभी मिला ही था हमें अब बहुत कुछ डिसाइड करना था कि आगे चलना कैसे है क्या पाथ लेना है ग्रोथ के लिए वी हैड टू डिसाइड एग्जैक्टली व्हाट पाथ शुड वी टेक फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ ग्रोथ सो लेट इस गो अहेड एंड लेट इस नाउ टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी वर when we just got our independence to begin with jab bhi kisi economy ka humko ek growth aspect dekhna hota hai whenever we want to determine how the economy is progressing what path the economy is taking the very first thing that we check is called per capita growth rate how is gdp growing per capita how is the income growing per capita now these figures are disastrous in india the per capita growth rate from 1870 to 1914 if you can go ahead and see this from 1870 to 1947 the per capita growth rate was only 0.2% mane the growth rate was very 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 less we were absolutely not growing the growth rate was too low it was only 0.2% whereas when we see the same growth rate in uk jab hum yahi growth rate uk mein dekhte hain we see that the growth rate is 1% so the growth rate was only 0.2% from this 1870 to 1947 as compared to 1% in the uk similarly jab hum per capita income ko compare karte hain when we compare the per capita income per person income per capita income is what the total income of any economy divided by the total population of the economy so when we go ahead and we compare the per capita income jab hum dekhte hai ki income kitni rahi hai we find that income is only 18 in 1899 and 39.5 in 1895 so this means that we understand that the income per capita income was very very less again showing that there was high poverty in india तो पर कैपिटल इनकम बहुत कम थी ग्रोथ रेट बहुत कम थी और ये दोनों ही चीजें एक ही चीज इंडिकेट करती हैं कि इंडिया की जो लेवल ऑफ पॉवर्टी थी वो बहुत ही हाई थी सो एब्जेक्ट पॉवर्टी इज व्हाट द इंडियन मासेस वर फेसिंग नाउ जस्ट सी देर वर रिपीटेड फेमाइन एंड डिसीज कहीं पे ड्रॉट था कहीं पे एक्सेस वाटर फेमाइन था कहीं पे लैक ऑफ फूड सो देर वर अट ऑफ इशूज फेसिंग कहीं पे बाढ़ थी कहीं पे बंजर था देर वॉज नो वॉटर समवेयर एंड टू मच वॉटर एट दर प्लेस बोथ ऑफ देम वर इक्वली बैड फॉर द इकोनॉमी नाउ रिमेंबर दैट द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द इकोनॉमी वॉज वेरी बैड एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट We didn't have the correct resources to face these problems. ये जो भी problems हम देख रहे थे, जैसे famines, or जैसे for example drought, जैसे for example different diseases that were coming during those time, undernourished kids, undernourished adults. 
we were seeing so many problems during those times that it automatically led to the greatest socio economic problems now just think about this see if people don't have food they will be undernourished they will have diseases if they will have diseases then what is going to happen they will have low productivity low productivity means low output in the economy everything is interlinked that is what happened during covid 19 if nobody is there to work how will the economy have a good gdp government's entire income will only go to help people tackle the disease that is the problem so because everything was happening simultaneously you had these problems coming together it stuck india really bad okay <clears throat> now aisa nahi hai ki jab india ko independence mila to hame in cheezon ki knowledge nahi thi we were not aware of these we were aware the government was aware that we have these problems big politicians big industrialists they were aware that this is the problem and this is what we have to suffer so the question is what should be the tactic now ab kya kiya jaye what should be the path that should be taken to resolve these problems and we came up with five major strategical issues panch major cheeze thi जिनको हमें रिजोल्व करना था दीज वर दाइव मेजर थिंग्स वी वॉन्टेड टू रिजोल्व फर्स्ट वी वॉन्टेड द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट और नॉट द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट स्टेट और द गवर्नमेंट टू टेक द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी गवर्नमेंट को अब ज्यादा रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लेनी पड़ेगी दैट्स द फर्स्ट थिंग वी वॉन्टेड सेकेंड वी वॉन्टेड एम्बिगुअस and vital role to be assigned to the public sector public sector shuru mein development ke liye bahut important hota hai it is super important that you have a strong public sector what is a public sector any sector which is led by the government jaise telecommunication industry railway industry electricity industry bahut sara areas the there were multiple things where we wanted the government to enter and to take a hold of it right food corporations so we wanted the government to build its own sector called the public sector right so we wanted a full role of the public sector necessity for development of heavy industries now i will talk in detail about industries just in the coming videos but just think about this what india saw is that whichever country had a heavy industry sector jahan par bhi industries progress kar rahi thi jahan par bhi industries sound thi sound matlab they were doing well wo economies bahut acha growth trajectory follow kar rahi thi so we saw that those countries which had good industrial sector those were the countries which were progressing and the and us time pe ye thought process tha that the countries which were in the agricultural sector they were the backward countries so everybody started thinking that the countries which were doing good in the industrial sector they were good and the countries which were doing good in the other sector in the agricultural sector they were backward so the same thought process started for the indian politicians also india ne bhi same sochna hi shuru kar diya ki agar hame grow karna hai to hame industry mein bahut strong hold chahiye so they wanted to have a good heavy industry sector डिस्करेजमेंट टू फॉरन इन्वेस्टमेंट अब हमें जब भी किसी भी इकोनॉमी को ग्रो करना होता है वेन एवर वी वॉन्ट एनी इकोनॉमी टू ग्रो वी वॉन्ट टू ऑलवेज स्टार्ट विद द फॉरन सेक्टर स्टॉप दैट इमीजिएटली सबसे पहला मोटिव ये होता है 
go to the foreign sector and close that so ideally in simple terms go from open economy to closed economy open nahi rehna hai closed banna hai which means become self sufficient so self sufficient banne ke liye apne internal jo bhi hamare producers hain unko safeguard karne ke liye ki unko bahar se koi competition na mile ki wo self sufficient ho in order to ensure that these shopkeepers and producers whoever is producing they are self sufficient that they don't get cheap products from the outer world and they have to do a competition with that that people buy only indian made products we wanted to go from open to closed economy to aim ye tha ki jo hamare andar ghar ke producers hai india ke producers hai unko hum growth de और उनको बाहर के लोगों से कोई कंपटीशन ना मिले दे शुड नॉट गेट एनी कंपटीशन फ्रॉम द आउटर प्रोड्यूसर्स सो इन ऑर्डर टू मेक देम सेल्फ सफिशियंट इन ऑर्डर टू हैव नो कंपटीशन फ्रॉम द एक्सटर्नल वर्ल्ड वी वांटेड डिस्करेजमेंट ऑफ फॉरेन इन्वेस्टमेंट सिर्फ जो चीजें नेसेसिटी है जिसमें हम इंडिया को अभी ग्रो नहीं कर सकते जो बाहर से आनी जरूरी है only get those from outside okay come to the next point the need for economic planning we know this this is the reason we had five year plans because we started thinking that now we must set a strategy for doing economic planning and how is economic planning possible only if we set these five year plans छोटे छोटे सालों के लिए कुछ 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 एम करो उसको अचीव करो फिर फिर से एम करो फिर अचीव करो सो वी वॉन्टेड टू सेट दिस फाइव इयर प्लान टू गो अहेड एम समथिंग अचीव इट एंड देन अगेन एम द न्यू थिंग वंस इंडिया बिकेम इंडिपेंडेंट इट वॉज अ रियल चैलेंज फॉर गवर्नमेंट फॉर अ सिस्टमैटिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन तो अभी कुछ भी बहुत ऑप्टिमिस्टिक नहीं दिख रहा था कुछ भी बहुत पॉजिटिव नहीं दिख रहा था बहुत सारे इश्यूज थे बहुत सारे अनरिजोल्व क्वेश्चंस थे जिनको हमें रिजोल्व करना था नाउ द डिसीजन हैड टू बी टेकन बाय दीज पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज और इसमें अब हम सबसे पहला डिसीजन जो स्टडी करेंगे द फर्स्ट डिसीजन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दैट इज गोइंग टू बी एग्रीकल्चर वर्सेज इंडस्ट्री देखो जब भी कोई भी इकोनॉमी को हम एक ग्रोथ पाथ पे लेके जाना चाहते हैं वेन एवर वी वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट एनी ग्रोथ प्रोग्रेस वी हैव टू पिक वन इंडस्ट्री विद विच वी विल स्टार्ट द ग्रोथ ट्रेजेक्ट्री वो कोई भी हो सकती है मैं एग्रीकल्चर को ग्रो कर सकती हूँ इंडस्ट्रियल सेक्टर मतलब सेकेंडरी को ग्रो कर सकती हो सर्विस सेक्टर मतलब टर्शरी को ग्रो कर सकती हो सो वी व्हेन वी स्टार्ट दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ डेवलपमेंट वी कैन गो विथ एनी ऑफ दीज सेक्टर्स सर्विस हमेशा एक लास्ट प्रायोरिटी होती है यू डोंट इमीडिएटली स्टार्ट विथ सर्विस सेक्टर सर्विस किसको दोगे अगर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग या एग्रीकल्चर ही नहीं होगा किस चीज की सर्विस so service is not the first sector to go ahead and start your journey with so the major question that arised with all the political uh, politicians and all the economists and the strategists the main question was should agriculture be the primary force for development or should industry be the primary force for development kis से हम डेवलपमेंट को स्टार्ट करें एग्रीकल्चर या इंडस्ट्री व्हाट शुड बी द ग्रोइंग फोर्स सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी विल आस्क इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो व्हाट एंड दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन व्हाट शुड बी द प्राइम मूविंग फोर्स हम देखेंगे इसमें व्हाट विल बी सी कि क्यों एग्रीकल्चर नहीं चूज किया गया था क्यों इंडस्ट्री चूज किया गया था 
बट क्यों एग्रीकल्चर को चूज करना चाहिए था एंड एग्रीकल्चर फाइनली कब चूज किया गया सो फोर क्वेश्चन वी विल आस वन Why was agriculture not chosen? Two. Why was industry chosen? Three. When did we switch from industry to agriculture? And four. Why should agriculture have been chosen in the first place? We will try and answer these questions in the next lecture. Okay.